In this video series, we are going to be using Autodesk Revit to design ourselves the Nova 190 series house from GJ Gardner Homes. We're not going to have the exact measurements as these guys do, and we probably won't have the exact same look, but we're going to go for something fairly similar, especially with the layout on the inside. And it's a family home, this one. You can see it's got four beds, uh, two bathrooms, and it's a two-car garage as well. It's a fairly straightforward house. I'll show you the floor plan as well. Looks something like this. Okay, so a bit, bit of detail in it, but once we get the walls all drawn up, it's not too hard. So let's get started today by going into Revit, and we're going to select the architectural template here from the left-hand side. Once you've got our architectural template up, you'll see some little circles on your screen, a few lines. These are just the different camera views that we're going to have of the house, so the north, south, east, and west views of the house. Just zoom in towards the top here. Okay, we're going to be drawing our house in this section up here today. Now before we get started on anything today, I just want to go over to my project browser here. Okay, if you can't see your project browser, you'll need to go to your view menu and into the user interface and make sure the project browser is turned on. And while you're there, make sure that you've got your properties turned on as well. That's this section up here. Okay, now in our project browser, we're going to go down to the elevation section and look for the east view. Double click on the east view. That will just bring up a new window. I just want to change the height of level 1 here to 2700. So change the 4000 to 2700. Press enter. You can close the east view once you've done that. And go back to your ground floor view. If you're in an older version of Revit and you don't have the tabs running along the top, just go over to your project browser and double click on the ground floor to take you back to where you started from. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to draw the exterior walls of the house. Okay, so to do that we just go up to the architecture tab at the top and select the wall option. From here we're going to change the height of our wall from 8000 to 2700. So type in 2700 and press enter. We're going to change the location line to finish face exterior. And we want to change our properties over here. We're going to change it from the basic wall. What do we want? We want the brick veneer 250 timber. Okay, you can go a steel frame if you'd like. It's starting to become a bit more common these days, but I think timber frames are still the most popular, so let's roll with a 250 timber um, brick veneer frame today. Okay, I'm going to start down um, in the bottom right corner of my design. So I'm going to click once on my page and move my mouse around. And you see that the wall follows my mouse cursor until I make the next point. So I'm going to go across 5900. Okay, I'm going to have to type that in using my keypad. So type in 5,900 and press enter. We're then going to go up 750, press enter. We're going to go left 10,000, press enter. Then we'll swing our way back up 6,000, then right 3,200. We're going up 3,200. And then we'll go across to the right 14,000. We're going to go down three and a half thousand. Zoom in a bit here so you can see things clearer. Uh, once we've done the three thousand, we'll come across thirteen hundred, and then we should be able to just go straight down and connect up with where we started if all our measurements are correct. So you should have something looking like that. That's the exterior walls of our house. Now, before we go any further, we need to check that the bricks actually turned um, turned up on the right side or the outside of our design. So hit the little house at the top and go into the default 3D view and zoom in a bit and make sure that you've got bricks on the outside of your house not on the inside. Okay if yours are reversed you may need to draw that again until you get it right. Okay but that is how our house is looking for now. You can close the 3D tab at the top or if you don't have the tabs at the top just go back and double click on the ground floor in your project browser to bring up this um, 2D plan that we started with. Now I'm just going to stop the video there. Uh, that's our exterior walls done. I'll come back in the next video and I'll show you how to do the interior walls of the house. 